Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Welcome to my craft room. When I got my new Eon Mira 9 Redline CO2 laser a few months ago, I honestly didn't know where to start. I didn't know what buttons to push or what settings to use, but luckily I've got this thing all figured out now and I'm gonna share the steps that you need to take to make your first cut with your laser. The first step is to prepare your file. I'm here in Lightburn where I've designed this adorable keychain, and part of preparing your file is making sure that each of your layers has the correct settings, so I'm going through and assigning the correct settings for each of these layers from my material library. Another part of preparing your file is making sure that you check your order. You'll want to make sure that you're doing your scoring and your engraving first in most cases, so I'm just sliding the layers into the proper order. Another part of preparing your file is setting your origin. I'm setting it to the upper right-hand corner. And now I'm ready for step number two, which is to turn on your air if you're using it and turn on your laser. Turning this key just gives me so much joy, I can't even tell you. <laughs> So the third step is to go back to our computer and we're gonna send our file to our laser. You can name it whatever you want. It will automatically populate with the file setting or the last used name. And once it's sent, we're on to step number four, which is to access our file. To access your file on this red line, you'll hit shift and frame at the same time. You can find your file name on the screen. If you need to scroll down, you can use the Y keys to do that up and down. And you'll see a preview of your file and your settings there on your screen. Step number five is to place your material and bring it into focus. I'm using some Baltic birch plywood here. It's very inexpensive and it does tend to warp as you can see. So I'm gonna grab a couple magnets and just hold it down onto the bed to prevent a little bit of that warping as I do my cutting. Then I can move over to my keypad and I'll use the X and Y up and down arrows to position the head of my laser over my material. Most lasers are going to have a red dot which will indicate that you're in the right spot. So you're just moving that right dot to that upper right hand corner or wherever you choose to start your job. Once I have my red dot over my material, I'm going to hit the focus button. And you'll see that this Mira 9 red line auto focuses on the material so that I have my laser head set to the precise distance that it needs to be for this job. Step number six is to set your origin and then hit the frame button. Origin determines where your job starts. And when you hit the frame button, the laser head will jog around your material and show you exactly where this project is going to fall. This allows you to get perfect placement every time. Our seventh step is to light it up. And by light it up, I mean start the job. So I'm going to close the lid and hit that green start button at the upper right hand corner of the panel. And this is where the magic happens. Step eight is to watch in awe as your laser brings your design to life. I love this part so much. It never gets old. It's so fascinating. Today, I'm using some simple Baltic birch plywood to create a keychain, but keep in mind these lasers are so powerful. You can cut and engrave acrylic. You can also engrave on glassware or on powder coated tumblers. And I've even engraved on a river rock from my garden. Now I've left all of this footage here of the engraving and the cutting in real time. And you can see here that this Mira 9 Redline Edition is fast. And that is one of my favorite things about this machine. Once my keychain engraving and cutting is complete, you can see this file only took about a minute to cut, a minute and six seconds. I can then lift the lid of my laser and check my work. This part makes me giddy. I love to see my designs come to life. And with the right settings, I have a perfect keychain and I didn't even really get any flashback on the back of this wood and it's ready to go. So I'm going to take this inside and I'm going to add one of the keychain thingies here through the hole of my keychain and I'll attach it to this lobster claw keychain here. I'll just snap that into place, add a tassel, and I am done with my keychain. 
There you have it, a laser cut and engraved keychain in seven simple steps, well, eight, if you stick around to watch in awe. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to cut and engrave with your Mira 9 Redline, and I hope you found this helpful. I will have links to all the products I used in this project in the YouTube description below, so if you wanna check those out, I'll have them available for you there. Thanks for watching. I'm so glad you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.